There are a number of things wrong with this penalty kill setup. The defenseman should be set up behind the center in order to help out should things go wrong. Right now, he's on the wrong side of the puck and will be chasing any opponent towards our own net. The net front winger should be cutting through the circle to cover the opponent's point man on the blue line. Our net front defenseman should be picking up the forward standing in front of the net. Centerman needs to leave his man over to his defenseman, then come to the top of the house to face their defenseman. We now have total confusion in front of the net as to who is supposed to take who, plus we only have one forward up towards both the defensemen at the blue line. The forward coming out to the point man cannot turn his back and co skate away. The centerman needs to come out to complete the box rather than sit back down there and not have anybody, as is in front of our net. As the situation develops, we have two opponents standing behind our players closest to the net. Our defenseman is taking the least dangerous man away, and two of the other defensemen plus centermen are facing the shooter, not seeing the man behind. Here we have the box as it should be. Opponents are on the outside of the house, we are on the inside and always on the defensive side of our players. In the next situation, the defenseman needs to have one on the hand of the stick, always have an eye on his opponent, not looking for the puck. In this situation, we are clearly just looking for the puck, skates are for looking at the back of the net, and we're going to get pushed on top of our goalie.